Hey guys, welcome back to My Wild and Wonderful. I've had a few friends on Facebook that I've shared some of these videos and I've mentioned in the comments and all these things. They've wanted to see some of the processes, like some of the pork grinds, the beef grinds, the venison grinds, and just how I do it. Well, I thought I would add this in a good little section. It's a busy day, you know. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and add all this stuff together. I'll show you how to brine the meat, pull out a lot of the blood and a lot of the different flavors to make it a more neutral, fatty pork flavor that you can totally adjust to your taste, however you want to do it. So stay tuned. Check this out. We're going to grind up some pork just to have ground pork, and then we're going to also make some sausages. I thought you guys might want to come, come along with this and just see exactly how I do it because I use natural pork casings, actual pork that came from a local farm that I butchered myself here in the backyard, and show you guys how to turn it into something totally amazing. Stick around. All right, this is actually my kitchen sink. I have sterilized, bleached, rinsed, washed with Dawn dish soap, cleaned it out 100%. So now what we have is all of our pork chunks in here mostly fat most of it is fat and that's the best thing for it you want to soak it you can see all the blood tinged water that's good that's the right thing and what we're going to do when we soak it in salt we draw out any impurities any bad flavors draw out the blood creates more of a neutral flavor just like with brunch today the idea behind all this is so that as we decide to grind this up and use it now we're going to be able to cook it and change the flavor any way we want to to make amazing sausages y'all stay tuned we need to cut this pork up into small pieces all right so it goes in the grinder easily just trying to cut into the plastic actually for this uh cutting board Lagasse from a long time ago said that when you go to a fish market smell your fish smell it seriously if the fish smells like fish buy the pork Look at that right there guys yeah, that's some chopped up pork if I ever seen any Guys, one very important thing you should always remember. When you're coarse grinding, which I've got a weaker grinder, you can get really like three quarter and one and even like two horsepower uh, meat grinders. Make sure that once you're done with the coarse grind that you actually take off and clean all the sinew, all the silver skin, everything off of the blade the corkscrew, the actual impeller that moves the meat towards the blade, however you say it. Make sure you clean all the silver skin off that. That's the stuff, that's the striffening, that's the stuff that when you bite into, it's not bone, it's not really cartilage, it's just like, nah, that stuff. Now, as we go here, gonna be a little bit loud. See how 
it looks so much more natural now. Okay, guys. So with some of this ground pork that we have, we're going to just make one pound roundabout, one pound increments. No spices, no salt. We just soaked them in salt, broke the blood down, and that's it. Okay guys, so we're going to sprinkle our salt lightly. You have it all mashed down, that's important. Now, curry powder. We're going to be pretty liberal with the curry powder. That's one of the base flavors. Thyme. Just here and there, light sprinkling all over. Pepper. Black pepper all over. Garlic. Pretty liberal with the garlic. Gotta be. Bit of ginger. Very light on the ginger. And lastly, but not least, we got rub sage. Guys, this is going to be the most fantastic of any type of sausage you've ever put in your mouth. I promise you. I'm going to follow out my links now. I'm going to get them in here in the warm water in the kitchen in the sink here. Right where I had the pork, it's been sterilized and cleaned. And then we're going to go ahead and mix all this up, let it sit there and kind of, I guess you would say, marinate, to be honest. The only thing left that I really want to add that I haven't added yet is this liquid smoke. Now we're going to put a few drops, maybe 30. <laughs> Now, right before we actually put these into an actual sausage casing, we're going to add a little bit of butter. Got to have a lot of fat. One ingredient I almost forgot. Chipotle. Got to have chipotle pepper in there. Come on, guys. Add a little bit of spice, a little bit of bite to it. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Give it some spice, give it some extra smoke. Y'all right there. That's a log of ground pork, all of our seasonings. Put a little bit of that uh, chipotle pepper in there. Give it some bites, some extra smoke. Gonna mix that in there some more. And then we're gonna put them in the hog casings. We've got our butter in there. And yet one more ingredient I totally forgot to mention, brown sugar. Always got to have brown sugar. There you go. Once you mix all that butter in there. Now, we'll take this right here. We'll put it in a clean bowl. We're going to clean this one here out. Got some bits left over from grinding. We're going to clean that bowl. Put that in that bowl over here. Then we'll wash all this out and get ready to start stuffing sausages. There are a bag of natural hog casings. Gotta open it up here. They're packed in salt. 
One of the biggest things to understand is they are certainly packed in a lot of salt. They come up in this whole big mass like this. I'll show you how to separate. Kind of like with the way you work out a rat's nest in a bait caster. Okay hey guys, so you take your last couple links here, take your knife, snip them separate, you know, lay them down here, and just roll them in cellophane, cling wrap, saran wrap, whatever you call it. Don't have to do all the vacuum sealing process. Now guys, I always, and I mean always, take a little bit of what I just made and I fry it. Now I was packaging that pork so it got a little bit overdone, but I believe she'll still be alright. Guys, I'm going to be heading to bed here in just a minute, but I couldn't let you guys go without trying some of this pork. This is the sausage we made. I made a patty out of it. We made links earlier. Yeah, it's a little dry, but like I said in the video, I kind of over fried it while I was packaging the rest of those links. Oh yeah, yeah that's good stuff, holy crap.